How we doing everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to attempt to do some ice fishing. It is, well we're, we're about a, a week into March so far and uh, for any of you who are from the Minnesota, Iowa area know that we've had some extremely warm weather with some rain. So I'm hoping the light ice allows us to be out there. Looks like there's about two people out on the lake right now and all I see is four wheelers and one truck. Um, we're going to be taking my truck out there today. So we're going to see what happens. We're going to be targeting, I think, crappies, maybe some big bluegills. Uh, obviously, here in southern Iowa, walleye is closed for the season until May. So we can't go after walleyes. We're pretty much just going to have to chase, chase the crappies and the bluegills and anything else that bites. But with no further ado, we're going to get after it. I'm going to show you guys the landing here, though, just so you see what we're going on. I think it looks a little sketchy but i think we'll be fine once we get once we get past the you know the just the initial you know burst of water here so check this out i mean doesn't look the greatest i'm gonna go walk on here and see what it looks like sorry for the wind you guys probably can't hear anything Let's see what we're looking at here Ooh, it's crunchy Well, it doesn't look good. I mean, is there ice below this? I mean, what is that? Well, we're going to give her a go, guys. We'll see you guys on the ice if we can make it out here. So stay tuned for that. There we go. We're going to shoot off to the side here to try and avoid that. We're out here, ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Hopefully we don't go through. I think we're gonna be okay though, cause out here, this ice is hard. So if we have any issues, I'll let you guys know. Come get it. He's still down there. As you can get, as you guys can see, I'm fishing out of my truck just cause it's super freaking nice today. So I was fishing on the ice, but it's really, really windy. So you guys, I was having a hard time with the microphone picking up my, my voice in the wind. So that's why I'm fishing out of the truck, just kind of blocking the wind a little bit. Uh, we haven't caught any fish yet, so it's been a little slow. We've been marking a couple here and there, uh, but nothing crazy. So we're just kind of moving around, trying to locate some fish. And I think we're finally getting her dialed in. We're in 17 feet of water right now. And I'm thinking these bluegills might still be a little bit deeper yet. But I have some other spots to try. I might go fish even deeper to just catch some crappies because I know I can do that. But I haven't I haven't had a lot of success catching bluegills out here this year, which is why I really wanted to give it a shot. So if I get up on any more fish, I will be sure to show you guys. Oh, there's a fish. Sheesh, it's not too big. Oh, oh look at that. Big bluegill. Oh, heck yeah. Sheesh, guy. Give me that. Oh, we will catch those all day long, son. Look at that. Big old gill. Wow. Well, we might actually harvest this guy today because that's pretty darn good. We'll take that. All right, guys. Well, that's one fish down. We're actually in about nine feet of water, so that's pretty amazing that we finally found this. I might set up the tent just so we can start fishing like not in the truck so much. But that's pretty cool, check that out. First fish of the day, actually on a little plastic tipped with a minnow head. He got my minnow head, but that's one fish for the day. So thank you very much little guy. You're gonna be on the dinner plate. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this one's much smaller. Nonetheless, oh, a little crappie, wow. Well, hey, that's fish number two for the day. He's freaking rocking it up to that thing. We'll take that all day as well. Heck yeah. We're going to send this guy back. See you later, guy. Ooh, he marked my minnow head. in the new one. Well, that's two fish for the day. We're going to get back in the water. Oh, sorry for the wind. Here we go. Are you kidding? Wow, if you guys can see that live scope, that's just wild. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a nice fish. Nice fish. Oh my. Look at that thing. This thing is freaking huge. Oh my goodness. That is a absolute tank. Wow, I just sat down 
And look at that. Look at that freaking thing. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is big. I mean, that's my hand. Oh. Hold on. Hold on, I think I can lip them. Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. This thing is huge. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Well, he's gonna eat good. We better get back down there. Oh, he got my pole all jacked up, but that's all right. A few moments later. There we go. There's another one. Oh yeah, another good one. Uh, oh wow, perch. Cool. Well, check out that little guy. Sheesh, I wasn't expecting that. That's kind of cool. Man. I'm not sure if we'll send him back or not. I can't decide. I think we might keep him. I really like perch. And it's it is big enough. It's a big enough keeper. So I think I think we're gonna keep this guy. I think we're gonna harvest him. So thank you, buddy. On to the next one. Well, there's our pile of fish. We got three so far. Uh obviously, obviously you guys saw the one you guys saw the one crappie that was really small that we threw back. He was not a keeper. Uh I caught another small crappie off of camera that wasn't a keeper as well. But so far not bad. I mean We'll take that all day. We got the Vexar going here, and I can actually see the live scope over here, so I kind of have two electronics going, and if that's cheating, maybe, I don't know. But it's super helpful because then I can fish with them on here, and I can watch them come in on the live scope. All right, well, we're still out here. We're still grinding it out. It's about, I don't know, 5.30 today, and we're still trying to hook up on a few more fish. We still, haven't done much better we really only have those three fish but it's been pretty slow there is fish down there i can see them swimming around on the live scope but they're just really really tight lipped uh nothing really down there now but you can see me down there uh and then i do have a dead stick as well with just a minnow but these fish what they what they've been doing is they've just been cruising you know, just, just along the bottom and they stop for a little second, look at me, and then they keep on going. So, I've been switching up my presentation pretty heavily, trying to find something that these fish like. I don't know, they were really hot earlier, so I'm hoping towards evening the bike just turns on, which it might. But this weather also might have played a factor. It's been snowing for the last, I don't know, hour and a half. So, we'll see how that affects things, but we're going to keep fishing. We're going to give it about probably about another hour and if we don't catch anything we'll be done then so stay tuned guys we're gonna try and catch a few more fish how we doing folks well that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video obviously not the greatest fishing in the world but it is about that time in the year where these fish are going to turn on i mean the panfish, the crappies, you know, the bluegills, that kind of thing. These fish love it when it starts to warm up and the ice starts to come off the lakes. It's kind of sad because a lot of the times the fish keep biting, but most of the time later in the year you can't get on the water because the landings and stuff are junk. So it'll be interesting to see how these next couple of weekends pay off. Uh, this current, this coming weekend, I should be out here again. But the weekend after that, we're heading to northern Minnesota to hopefully get on some big slab crappies. So stay tuned for that, guys. That'll all be on camera. And I'm super excited for the content coming. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot more fishing and hunting content coming this year. So please and thank you guys. We will see you in the next one.